Warning! The following contains scenes of graffiti. Graffiti may be art, but it's also an act of vandalism and is a crime all across the world. The D-Rock 100 does not condemn any acts of this vandalism of any kind. Otherwise, the ones that are responsible will be given a fine, probation, or even a sentence to prison. Viewer discretion is advised. On with the show. It's showtime. Everybody, it's the D Rock 100, and welcome back to more of Jet Set Radio Future Replay. Last time, we did the street challenge at Rukaku Dai Heights, and we finally made our way to 99th Street. And we're kicking the buttocks of Rapid 99. This time, you know what we're doing. Yep, we're missing the rail. We are heading off back into 99th Street for where we're going to be doing. The street challenges. So let's boogie. Jetset ESR. Jetset Pudio. Ha! All right. Yeah, I'm ready to ride the waves. <laughs> okay. Yo, it's time to head on to Poison Jam's hideout. The Tokyo Underground Sewage Facility. Not yet. Under Rukaku Die Heights. Okay. So this one's actually gonna be a little bit interesting. And of course, this one's gonna be a little bit of a challenge because, well, let's face it. We got a whole lot more locations for us to explore about. So let's come up here. Barely pull off uh, the the f yeah four air combos. So getting up to a hundred thousand can be a bit of a challenge, but if done correctly, it's really not that hard. But you gotta grind up the dragon's tail. Screw up at the end. All right, let's try this again. Not quite sure if I really picked the right character for this kind of challenge, but I think we'll be okay. Yes. All right. Forty trick. Forty tricks. We yeah, we already had a little bit of a combo going. <laughs> See what I did there? Okay. There we go. Okay. So now for this last one. Now, oh boy! This one is kind of stupid. Let's see here. If I remember. Okay, here we go. There is a sign where we need to start at. 
Let me see if I can find the right one. Okay. So, for this one... Oops. Didn't mean to use the boost dash. We need to start it from this sign, and then I think we need to go... Okay, hang on. I think I got it backwards. So, we'll go this way. I think it's going to go this way first. Ah, crap. This one's annoying. In fact, these final street challenges have always been annoying, so... But it's okay, though. So we just start on this side, and then go this way. It's also in memory of where all the jumps are gonna be at, so they can be annoying if you don't know where they're at, so just take your time, no point in rushing. It's right here that what gets me. Okay. Let's see if I maybe did it correctly. No. Alright. I'm going to get this! Even if it kills me! Alright, come on. Alright. Easy does it now. Steady she goes. Okay. Maybe I just need to land this. There we go! <sighs> Took me forever and it really should have. Okay. So the majority of them are going to be here in the very center of the, of the map. So let me just go ahead and grab this. Right. There we go. Alright. Alright. So for this one, we're going to... Mr. Dragon Head. Who knew? Oh, nope. Okay. Now let's see here. Uh, I promise, I don't remember exactly for where it's at, but... Fortunately, if I go up here, I should have a better target on how to get to it. All right. Let's see here. So I think it should be okay. Cool beans, right there. Whoa! There we go. Okay. So now we gotta go up there now. All right. Come on, combo! Come on, big guy. There we go. God, this is taking me forever and a day to do. Okay. Just so making absolute sure that I'm gonna be going on the right pathway. And here we go. Over here. Make sure we land on the rail. You know what? I'll just go over here. So let's come here, yada yada yada. Let's get some pedestrians along the way. Unless it's the graffiti, yeah, it's right up there. Now, this graffiti song that can be found in this particular location under the map is going to be very, very stupid. So, getting to it, we gotta come over here, wall run this, and then, ah, uh, yep. I think we may need to do a little bit of some jumps at some unusual locations because it should be like right next to us. Okay, yeah, right here. 
There we go. Okay. Now, you also may notice that that's up there. There's no point in trying to break it down because there is a time later on when that will be coming down, and I intend on showing that off of when I can. Okay. So let's come over here, collect this graffiti soul. Okay. So our graf next one is going to be on the other side. So. Let's go over here. Pretty much grind our way towards there. Let's see here. The only question is, where was it specifically that was over here? Because there's this blackout section that's from right here, and I know there was one from right here from earlier. It'll help come in pretty quickly. Looks like it's probably right in front of us. Okay, well, I know this one that's gonna be right here. Oh, that's right, there's two over here. I almost forgot about that. Yeah, take it easy. Okay. <laughs> there's a lot of songs on here that are just also so catchy. I'm gonna love it to death. Okay. So the question of the day is. Where did they stash it? Perhaps maybe over here? Let's see here. Ah, dang it. Alright. Just take a few deep breaths, Derek. It's probably gonna be in a location that. is gonna be on the Turkish side. Maybe up here. Okay, I think I have an idea of where it could potentially be at. Through here. Yeah, this is a part of 99th Street that I haven't got a chance to show off. It Thank you. Okay, here we go. At least this game was uh, kind enough to not put it behind those barriers because, like I mentioned from before, they're completely blocked off and there's no way how we can get through them. So, now that we've gotten that, I'll go ahead and cut ahead until we get back to Ukaku Dai Heights and we make our way towards the Tokyo Underground Sewage Facility. I will see you guys in just a moment. And I'm back! Okay! So, you notice that there was this portion, but we had no reason coming over here, and now, here we are at the Tokyo Underground Sewage Facility, one of the most annoying levels in the game. But, oh, you'll see. Now remember, the sewers are Poison Jam's home turf, and I don't think they like strangers up in their house, you know what I'm saying? And... Yep. Good luck at trying to get out of here, because no matter what you're trying to do, there ain't no way you're getting climbing out of this. All right, catchy music though, but like I said, annoying level in the game. What? Can't get out? The rapper 99 sing you to your doom. <laughs> <laughs> you're the 31 to fall into that trap! Don't even try, you're not getting out of there! Actually, I don't mind pulling you out of there. Just as a 30th sucker anniversary, but not unless you can impress me if you can't do that, then you don't deserve to get out anyway. First, do an air. Run to the side and jump. If you jump too late, it'll end up as a grind. So make sure you jump quickly. Okay, so you have to see that. Alright, so basically what we need to do is run up to the other side of these half pipes and then just jump. 
Ain't that bad. Next up, the hand plant. Press the X button while you're going on the wall. Basically like this. There it is. Let's see three more, three more of those. Combo's hand plan is really weird. In fact, he doesn't even hold on to the rail huffle while he's doing that. When you do a hand plan, you speed up. So basically, do a combination of the both hand plan and then, whoops. A combination of, of the two. There we go! Alright, then, stand back! How is he able to lift all that? Not too shabby. I'll help you out. Garam has joined us. Garam! I consider him to one of the best characters in the game. There's got to be some switches around here to open the gate to Poison Jam's hideout. Find the switches and get that gate open. We're gonna be here a while. That's, well, the mystery chamber's over there, so I'll get that later. So anyway. Garam! I consider him to be one of the greatest characters in the game. He has some high stamina. He has some amazing and grinding speed. And all around, he's very well balanced. I like him. But oddly with some great grinding skills, he's also one of the slowest on the ground. If you can get by on the fact that Garam is definitely good for what he does, uh, being a tank and also being fast while grinding, he could be a good choice to go for. Okay. So, remember when I say that I consider this to be one of the most annoying levels in the game? But, oh, you're going to be seeing it firsthand. All right. So all we really need to do is just attack any of these the switches, and we can progress onward. Might as well show you the map. Look at this place. This place is huge. If you fortunately navigating through this place isn't as bad as one would think. The big thing to just try to do is just try to take it easy and take a few deep breaths and just remember for where you're at. Otherwise, you're going to be as lost as, as finding a needle in a haystack. I'm not quite sure that really makes any sense, but... But basically, if you just progress into the map and just keep going up, is how you're going to be finding all these switches. Easy as that. Okay. Oh, no. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Okay, how did I miss that? Thank you. Okay. So I don't know if there's a switch over here, was there? No, there wasn't. Okay. Yep. Okay. But there is a switch right over here. And check it out, multiple save points. Might not be a bad idea to have one of these on standby. Okay. Come on over here. See if I still got it. I still got it. <laughs> okay. So we have one, two, three, four, five. Oh, five more of those left. And I'm gonna see if I can try to get this done as fast as I can. Because this is a huge location. In fact, I guess I kind of think this is probably the, the biggest or the second biggest map in the game. 
Is there anything over there? Is there? No. But there might be something of importance if we go a further down over there. But more on that later. And oh hi! It's a gator. Or whatever those things are that prowl around in the sewers. Ah! This spot. <laughs> Thanks, DJ. Okay. Jump right here. Do a long jump right here. Boost dash here. Basically, you could do that just to cheat your way back. So, let's see here. I believe that's everything for this level. Yes. So, let's move on to the next level. Whoop. Is there anything over here? I should take this time to mention that the majority of the walls that you're seeing in this level can be wall right, wall written. So that's definitely something to be aware of. In fact, this location is probably what I like to consider to be one of the most important locations to remember for a red wall ride. Especially when you're doing the street challenges for this location. Yeah, get used into seeing all of these pipes. Whoa! Was I upside down? Okay. Thank you. Going up. Right, here. Okay. All right. So this one has three. Like I said, might not be a bad idea to have one of those locations on standby, and I think I'm going the wrong way. So let's do a quick look around. In fact, this location right here is where you're going to be doing your pointer for this location, which I'll cover more on that in the, in the next episode when we do the street challenge. We could technically cheat our way into the top, but I'm not going to do that because... Whoa, 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 where am I? I want to make sure I didn't miss anything from over here. Doesn't look like it, so let's move on. See here. Okay. I could just change in the guy you missed one somewhere. Did I miss one? Yes, I did. I did miss one. So, we'll have to come up here. So, I think it's in this one? Yes. Okay. Now, I'll cheat. Now, come on down here. And spray that. Now the gate to the underworld is open. It's probably not a good idea tonight. No. You think? Okay. And now we're back at the beginning. And with that, we're gonna go ahead and end things off from right here. Next time on Jet Set Radio Future. We are going to be heading here further into Tokyo Underground Sewers Facility to do the street challenges. Head for the bottom point of the sewers facility. See you guys then.